This video's topic is what you should do if you're standing in a situation of a mass shooter or terrorist attack. So, a few pro gun channels on YouTube have made their own little what you need to do to survive or what you should do during a mass shooting or a terrorist attack. Some say it's your duty you go and try to stop it, and you're a coward if you don't. Or some say, save your family, don't get involved, you don't owe these people anything. Well, in all honesty, I'm not going to tell you what you should do because that's not my place, that's not their place. What you need to do is this goes without saying, is assess the situation. Because nobody knows exactly what they're going to do until they're in that situation. And remember, Shannon Watts, Michael Bloomberg, and Bloomberg all want you to do one of two things. Get killed to prove that having a gun makes it doesn't help affect the situation at all. Or two, not do a damn thing. That way they can say, see guns are pointless. He had his gun, he was there, he didn't do a damn thing. Either way, they want you dead or they want to blame you. They're just waiting for you to screw up. Because they don't care about your life. I mean, they've made that abundantly clear. Plus, they will always say you're just going to make it worse. Now, come on. There's a person or persons killing people, shooting them, randomly. You can't make that worse. Because if you fire at them, they're going to take the attention off the people who can't defend themselves and put their attention on you. So at least at that point, you will at least slow down the slaughter. Now, I wouldn't, if, you, if you're not comfortable getting involved something like that, then by all means, don't. But the whole point of this is you have to make a decision that you can live with for the rest of your life. Of course, if you have family with you, then yeah, you protect your family and do what you need to do. If you wholeheartedly believe you can stop this person or persons, then you should do it. But only if you believe you can. Nobody has the right to tell you what you should or shouldn't have done in these situations unless they've personally been in the situation. I've seen in some videos of people where they say, you know what, if you're in that situation, get out of it. You don't owe anybody anything. Which technically is true, but most gun owners do not walk around every day carrying a firearm to not do something if a bunch of innocent unarmed people are being shot at. It just doesn't happen. You can't not help. But any pro-gun channels that tell you that you should or shouldn't do a certain thing has absolutely no business telling you what to do because you personally have to live with whatever decision you make for the rest of your life. They don't. If you're not 100% sure you can handle the situation or not completely clear that you can, then don't do it. You being dead doesn't help anybody out. And just remember one thing, anybody who tells you that they know exactly what they would do in these situations is full of shit. Because nobody can know what they're capable of or what they're willing to do until that situation actually comes up. Just remember, the anti-gun groups want you to fail because they don't mind stepping on yet another grave. Um, I believe that's pretty much all I have for this video. I think I had some other points, but I can't remember them. Anyways, make a comment, anything. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought of it. I mean, seriously, give me your opinions. And maybe I'll do a better one next time. But again, you know, get anybody dead. And just remember, any decisions you make during those situations, you have to live with the rest of your life, and the people you care about also have to live with that the rest of your life. Anyways, enjoy life.
Only we can end unarmed victim zones.